Kia ora everyone, Mark here. I'm so happy to be back with you for another reflection. In today's gospel, we hear about two types of people. The first type is the wise person, and then the other type is the foolish or the unwise person. What's the difference between them? Let's find out together. You know, being ready isn't always easy. Sometimes we're unprepared in life. Have you ever come to school and realized you left something important at home, like your lunch or your homework, or perhaps there's been a test that you forgot to study for? We tend to be surprised sometimes, don't we? Not just by unexpected things, but even by things we should have been ready for. Of course, we're sometimes forgetful because we're human beings and our memories aren't perfect. But that doesn't mean we stop trying to be ready for things. It's important to never give up, especially when it comes to hearing and responding to God's invitation to follow Him. Thankfully, God gives us the wisdom to find Him, to hear His voice, and to always be ready when He calls. Wisdom is a funny thing. Some people think wisdom is the same as being really smart, but that's not quite right. Wisdom is about making choices based on what God wants rather than on what we want. And it can be hard to know the difference sometimes between God's ideas and our own ideas, but wisdom helps us to tell them apart. And the great thing about wisdom is that it comes from God. So like God, it comes to us. It wants to be with us. We hear in our first reading that wisdom hurries to meet everyone who wants to be wise, and that wisdom goes around searching for those who deserve her. She meets them along the road and stays in their thoughts. Kind of sounds like how God works, doesn't it? God also meets us on the journeys of our lives, and he stays in our minds because he's as close to us as our own thoughts. So if we try to grow in wisdom, we will grow in our relationship with God. Notice how being wise is related to knowing the Lord. In our gospel reading, the wise girls had enough oil for their lamps, but the ones who weren't wise the foolish ones didn't have enough oil, so they went to get some and they were late for the wedding. The groom, who we can think of as representing Jesus, tells the foolish girls, I don't even know you. Why didn't he know them? Because they were too busy thinking about things that weren't important. They weren't thinking about the groom or the wedding or how much oil they needed. In other words, they weren't being wise. If they were wise, they would have been ready for the groom to arrive, because their thoughts would be on him. Likewise, we should try to be wise, try to keep our minds fixed on Jesus, and try to be ready for whatever he wants us to do. And the key word here is try. Sometimes we do our best to be wise and to choose what God wants, we don't always get it right. And that's okay. God doesn't just love it when we follow him. He loves it when we try to follow him. And that's why he invites us each day to learn how to be wise, so we can learn how to love him and know him more. So today, let's thank God for giving us wisdom, for being patient with us, and for wanting to have a relationship with each one of us. Let's pray together. Ki te ingoa o te mātua, o te tamaiti, o te wairua tāpū. Amen. Gracious God, thank you for the gift of your wisdom. Thank you for always being in our thoughts and in our hearts. Help us to think more about what you want and less about what we want, because what you want is for us to be happy and to know you more. Give us your wisdom 
so we can always be ready to do what you ask of us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Ki te ingoa o te mātua o te tamaiti o te wairua tapu. Amen. Well, thank you very much for joining me. It's been a pleasure once again to share this time with you. And as always, um, as, as I continue my own journey toward priesthood, um, I keep you all in my prayers. See you later. <laughs>